I am building a sauna in my garden and there's a perfect little spot for it right next to the gym building. The only thing is there's a big shrub getting in the way. So I'm gonna cut that out first and then we're gonna lay down the foundation. So I'm gonna get my hands dirty. I'm gonna shovel some ballast into the wheelbarrow and mix up the concrete, pour it in, level it out. It's gonna be a good day. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Whether you need a domain, website, or an online store, make it happen with Squarespace. Look, this just shows how uneven our ground in the garden is. Look at the thickness of the right end compared to the left. So you can see the concrete base is done. The, we've taken off the shattering, uh, trimmed the waterproof sheet so it's stopping all the moisture from going up through the concrete. And this part over here, I'm planning to have like an ice bucket thing, maybe an ice bath. We'll see how that develops. But this is the part, the back of the shed. We're gonna pour a bunch of concrete down here to stop the weeds from growing because it will just be a pain to look after all of this once the shed is up. I'm gonna shovel loads of this ballast into the concrete mixer. Oh, my muscles are sore. <laughs> My challenge for this part is to empty the bucket all in one go. If I do it in more than one go, I fail. Yeah, look, I missed out on writing my name on this bit, but on this bit, we'll always see it. What should we write? E. And then when we have a baby, we do more concrete and add equals and then the baby's initials. <laughs> Might pour a new load over this to get rid of what we've just scribbled, talking about babies and whatnot. Let's check on our tomato bush. Oh, what? Look. I was going to wash it in case there's like fox pee on this, but... Wash it with your saliva, lick your finger. Oh my god. Mm. I'm going to have the other one. That is so tasty and fresh. The company where I got the sauna from offer an install service as well. So the installers have come through today and they've informed me that this is going to be a two-day job for them. And yeah, I'm excited to see uh, a new thing being built in the garden. An exciting project. Look at the progress. We've got progress. Now, I don't know any technical terms for any of this, but past the concrete stage, I think they've put some pressure treated wood down as the frame and then the floor goes on top of that. Uh, but the first layer of the wood is on. It seems very sturdy. Actually, let me take you guys on a little tour, a floor plan tour. So here there'll be a door. There's quite a big step right now. So I reckon if we put some decking down and a couple of steps, you'll be able to like hop up here, open the door, and then over here will be the bench. And then as we spin round, there'll be two big windows over on this side. One little window here, and then the door obviously on that side. Very cozy. Oh, this is so fun. the end of the day and the structure for the sauna is complete. Now there are a couple of more things left to do but let me show you the progress so far. <laughs> so there's no door yet but if you step up inside, ta-da, we have a cabin, we have a roof and two windows. The windows aren't here yet but these are the openings for them. So one large window right in the front and one on the side here. We have a wild Kirsty. Hello Kirsty. 
Hi. How's your day going? Better now I'm in the sauna. It's not finished yet. <laughs> what are your thoughts? I think it's a wooden square with a hole in it. And speaking of square, thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Squarespace is a website builder designed to give creatives all of their tools that they need to unleash their full creative potential with their online presence. With a range of user-friendly features and an interface that is easy to navigate, you can set up your own professional website within minutes. And with Fluid Engine, the next generation website design system from Squarespace, you have total freedom to customize every design detail on your website effortlessly, even if you're a complete beginner with the platform. And they offer a variety of different plans and you can always upgrade to a more advanced package once you need the extra features, such as a fully integrated online store if you're planning on either selling digital products or physical goods. And speaking on the e-commerce side of things, my favorite feature is the online store, which allows you to convert your website into a fully functional online marketplace. Whether you have a catalog of cool photography prints you've been meaning to sell or a line of merch you want to offer, then Squarespace definitely has you covered. Squarespace is ideal for a whole host of creatives, whether you're a photographer, artist, or a designer, or pretty much anyone else for that matter. It's especially useful for those people who are looking for the perfect platform to showcase their portfolio, as Squarespace makes it easy to present your projects in customizable galleries that are sure to impress your audience. And because Squarespace has sponsored today's video, I'm able to offer a 14-day free trial, and when you're ready to launch your website, use my code CONSTANTINE to get 10% off your purchase. The link is in the description, so give that a click and check it out for yourself. So where we are right now, there will be a bench, It'll be a two layered bench. And then this wood does need to be treated. I'm gonna give it like a varnish or. Take it out for dinner. All right, it is day two. A uh, couple of more things left today. So today will be the final installation of the sauna. We've got the floor, we've got the windows, we've got the roof insulation. There's gonna be like wooden slats above and they're gonna shove the insulation into those slats. The roof, it needs to be done. So they're gonna put like a waterproof layer on there, put shingles on top of that, and that'll be the roof complete. And then I could finally have stuff like this out of my gym. This is the insulation that's going to be in the roof. Because heat rises to the top, the last thing you want is to heat up your sauna and then all of the heat escapes through the roof. Oh, I, missed, I missed that window going in, damn it. It wasn't anything exciting to you. It's exciting to me. <laughs> When the big uh, window's coming through, you gotta let me know. Have you had more annoying customers than me? Uh, <laughs> not somebody who's handed around as much as you, let's put that like. Hey, <laughs> making sure you guys are all right. <laughs> you're, you're appreciative of it. That's, That's the difference. There you go. benches are in. There's just going to be a couple of grills. So this remains open. Then there's going to be a grill here. And then when you're sitting on the higher level, there'll be like a backrest there as well. This is how it's going to look like. the fuse box of the gym building just because those two buildings are so close to each other wow it's bright <laughs> god i'm a top qualified electrician at this rate no no bite i pretty much built this whole thing as well built the whole foundation and the whole shed it's not listening <laughs> I'll try to ignore it. house where you can route the cables through the drywall because there's gaps there between all the insulation and stuff. This structure is all wood so it doesn't have anything hollow in it so that makes routing cables a very awkward procedure. They have to hang it outside the building so right now you can see the exposed wire running for the light switch so we're just going to cover that up with a little bit of leftover wood and then the cable that's in the conduit that's going to be hidden eventually by the decking that I'm going to install around the whole thing. Okay, I'm gonna bring in the heater. That's gonna go over here in this spot. The logo. With the heater now installed, it's time to put in all of the rocks inside of the heated elements. And they come in a box like this. Simply open it, and these are the rocks. They're not rocks, they're minerals. So yeah, it looks like you just need to place them in now.
crafted a bit of wood with a little like a rebate in this piece of wood and now this light should just fit into that gap and then it runs all the way here to the back past me here and it goes all the way to the outside well hello there welcome to imagination land imagination the shed is up we've got big progress sadly the heater is faulty so i'm gonna have to wait a couple of weeks till they send me a new one blah 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 they're only available in finland very sad news but that doesn't stop us from building the decking yeah i didn't really document this part much basically put down a weed barrier and build this frame around then decking goes on top the fun stuff is actually getting to paint the shed which i'm not doing uh, so we're getting somebody else that knows how to actually paint stuff properly nicely you know i want this to look nice with the decking i'm gonna go for comp composite comp composite composite i'm going for the plastic decking it's a little bit more pricey but it lasts longer you don't have to look after it as much as uh, traditional wood decking it's gonna be black the shed itself will be gray here is a reference picture that i'm following all the outlines like the outline of the door will be white the outline of the window here will be white and then the rest will be gray and that's all happening today oh yes richard's here he's the one that does all the work and I just tell you what happens. Morning, would you like a cup of tea? Of course he does. I am so happy with how this project has turned out. It's just adorable. There's so much room on this decking. And then I could go all the way around over to this side. Look how much space is in between the two buildings. This is the gym building, this is the sauna. Loads of space. I've done some research on proper ice baths and let's just say, they're probably a whole different video because they're out of budget. Like if you're buying one, you're looking to spend like up to 10K. So for now, I'm gonna get myself one of these blow up ones. This is basically a plunge pool that you fill with cold water. So I'm gonna be testing this out to see if I actually like the idea of submerging myself in icy cold water first before I invest loads of time or loads of money into an actual proper ice bath with a chiller and all of that stuff. And this specific plunge pool, I got on Amazon for around 80 quid. I'll leave that to fill up. Let's have a quick inside tour as well, shall we? Inside, we have a speaker. Shout out JBL. For those of you that say, oh, it gets too hot in here. Yeah, I'll put it all the way to the bottom because it stays quite cool at the bottom when the sauna's on. And then I've got my bucket and this thing, which does have a proper name, but I'm gonna call it a big giant wooden spoon. Scoop up the water and then pour it onto the heater and it goes, creates loads of steam, makes the whole thing hot. It's incredible. Got myself one of these things, a thermo hydrometer or a temperature thing to tell me how hot it is in here. Usually it gets up to like 60 to 70. I haven't had temperatures beyond that and I don't think I personally will be able to handle any temperatures over 70. But I think that's my limit and I've been going for like 20 minutes at a time and it's been great. That one entire LED strip lights up the whole entire sauna perfectly. It's not too bright, it still keeps the mood very cozy, very dim lit, but you can see what you're doing so it's perfect i'm not going to bother installing any more lights inside of the sauna this is the heater itself very easy to use it's got like two different modes so it's got a mode where it can stay on as soon as you twist the knob so it can stay on for up to four hours or you can set it on a timer so you can say start heating it up within two hours and then when you're ready in two hours it will start heating it up and it will take about half an hour to an hour to heat up to a desired temperature the feeling i get from after being in the sauna is if i've had a really nice relaxing bath and to have that at the bottom of my garden it's it's incredible it's been a real nice treat to have especially after a good workout session let me show you what else i got i also feel like i've got enough space to make something cute looking from this area. Little seating area. Yeah, this is looking nice. So I'm eventually gonna add these solar lights. Maybe some more greenery. I'm thinking like some sort of hanging plant pot here. But overall, happy days. Project complete.